Well, guys, you know what time it is. It is new zoo time. Welcome, everyone, to Zoo Sarasota at the Palms. We're not going to call it that all the time. It's just going to be Zoo Sarasota. Welcome, everyone. Hope you guys are all having the most wonderful of wonderful days. My name is Leaf, and it's so great to have you guys over here as we check out what I've been working on for kind of the past week, kind of on and off and throughout some very long strides. Uh, really trying to make this as perfect as possible. Uh, after watching really awesome creators, I'm just going to give some shout outs very quickly to some of my favorite creators who have helped inspire me just for this project. Uh, I got to give a huge shout out to my good friends Nick and Forge uh, for just kind of guiding me through this whole process. But also huge shout outs to Wyatt, Eben, uh, Jash, I want to say Remnant, and also Jess Goron for both. Twin Palms, as well as St. Reginald Zoo for really inspiring me over the past few weeks and um, really trying to kick my ass into gear about what I want to be doing with Planet Zoo going forward. And before we do get started, I want to say right off the bat, this will have no effect on, you know, our silly little DLC zoos. I'm still going to actually probably do better work in there with all the kind of things that I've developed in here. Um, and yeah, we're, we'll still have those going on. This series will not happen too often. Uh, if anything, it's going to happen about monthly. Uh, hopefully I can have like monthly updates, maybe bi-monthly or rather like, you know, every two weeks or so if it kind of works out like that. Um, but I'm not really sure. I don't want to do any speed builds in here. Just saying that right off the bat. If you do see a speed build in here, I want you to yell at me right away <laughs> because that's not what I want to do in here. Um, but yeah, we're going to just get started going throughout here and just kind of picking out, picking out all the details that I've kind of worked hard on, uh, and just seeing what I've been working up to. So of course I have the parking lot kind of like started off I will be going through and adding like all the lines in here eventually just making sure it looks nice and realistic uh but for the time being I just want to do what would surround the entrance a little bit just to help frame it a little bit better so I do have this little walkway throughout here um that just kind of serves as a guide to help branch up pieces of the parkway uh so that you don't need to go across busy roads and stuff like that this one just links right up to the um kind of backstage access right over there super happy with like all the tiny details i've been working on uh especially with things like siding roofing gutters all that kind of stuff uh but this is essentially going to be like a little staff area or a little smoking area i still need to add signs uh hopefully that will come in the next episode once i actually do get to that point but i have this little smoking area so you can see i did these little custom uh cigarettes with uh, little pieces of like, you know, the ash and stuff like that off of them. Uh, but if I can actually select one, you can see that these guys are actually um, not really the most conventional pieces over here. Um, let me just see if I could deselect these. Yep, so we'll just ruin this for a little bit. They're actually the North African decals, which I thought was super stupid, but it works so well because, I don't know, just in that little bit of texture that they have over there, it works super well. But we're just going to fast forward right over here and actually start walking into the zoo. And many of my Floridian fans and people who have gone to Florida in the past may recognize this entrance. Uh, especially if you follow Simply Savannah. Oh my gosh. Huge shout out to Simply Savannah for her last um, Zoo Tampa walkthrough. Please go check that out if you want to get a little bit of inspiration off of what this entrance is based off of. Uh, it came at the perfect time, so thank you, Savannah, because I really wanted to have this um, really be as up-to-date as possible. And yeah, it just turned out super awesome, so I'm super thankful for you about that. But I have all these tiny little um, kind of keeper keeper rollies, I guess, I don't really know, uh, for places where you could get your bag checked, because... It doesn't happen in a lot of zoos, but it does happen in Zoo Tampa, where if you bring a bag in, uh, you would kind of have it get checked. It also happens at Disney if you've ever been there. You also have metal detectors, so you go right through those. Um, and yeah, that's really it. Uh, so <laughs> you kind of come up here, get your ticket. Of course, I still need to do a lot more furnishing inside of these uh, little rooms. 
inside of these little offices. It's not exactly to my liking so far, uh, but I do want to get some more reference as to what these ticket booths would look like inside uh, relatively soon. Also super happy with this part over here. Uh, you might not notice it on the first glance, but I did do custom uh, decals throughout here. And they fall in place with... Oh, that is supposed to be right there. Okay, they fall in place with these. I don't know why that one didn't work out. Uh, but you can close the gates over here. I just selected the wrong one. And the decals actually go perfectly on those little um, kind of scrapes on the ground. So I thought that was super fun to do. Super awesome to integrate right there. And it just looks super awesome when it's closed too. Uh, but moving on from there, I do want to get into the kind of thick of it. Uh, so I did work on these little um, green screen areas because it very much happens in every single zoo today now where they force you to take a picture at the entrance. I hate it because I, it, what's the point of it? I'm not going to buy the damn picture. <laughs> but no, they kind of force you into that. So I have this one over here. Uh, it has a lot of like fake animals on it. So I use some of the Safari Pack taxidermy. Have some macaws. I have some of the signs from all the packs and stuff like that. And it just looks super awesome. I don't know. I just really like that. Uh, lots of color in here. Uh, lots of color right off the bat because it's Florida. It's a Florida zoo. It needs to be super colorful. Uh, and over here would be the gift shop. I still need to work on decorating. A lot of these small decorating things I will be doing eventually. Uh, just because I don't have the time right now to go through, make those custom uh, billboards for the gift shop pack and stuff like that. But I will be doing that relatively soon. Uh, but for the time being, we got a few animals in here. We'll talk about what we're going to have in the zoo in a bit. Uh, but yeah, you could see that we have some lovely little things going on over here. Another huge shout out to Wyatt Andrews Workshop for this actual blueprint over here of this Quetzalcoatl. Quetzal, koala, koala, uh, yeah, just make fun of me in the comments, please. Uh, Quetzal, we'll just call it Quetzal. But we do have that going on right there. I apologize if you hear my dog kind of like moving around in the background. But I would essentially be using this as a lead in to our section over there, which we'll get into today. Uh, but it's essentially going to be a bird area with a lot of dinosaur references, uh, very much online with Miami. So we'll talk a little bit about that while we check out this little cafe very quickly. So this zoo is going to be a kind of mishmash of both Zoo Tampa and Miami Zoo, or rather Zoo Miami. Uh, so we're going to have a lot of references going on throughout these two parks uh, happening in this main park over here. Mainly what we'll be seeing today is a lot of Zoo Tampa integration except for the actual aviary. Uh, the aviary itself is based directly off of the Wings of Asia aviary that we have over at Miami Zoo. And yeah, you'll see a lot of that once we actually do get up towards there. But I'm super happy with all these small details in here. Really just being able to take my time and really kind of focus on the small details is something that I've found really, really a lot of fun in when it comes to this project, and you'll see a lot of that come through in the future. Um, but even these little signs up here, uh, just being able to color coordinate all of these with each other is super awesome. Right now they say sample. I'm still working on the names of the areas. I'm still working on the themes, species lists of the areas. And of course, that'll all be subject to change relatively soon. So keep that in mind. Uh, I have this little tour and guest services building right over here. Uh, for the actual granite over here, I used a upside-down Safari Pack Zen Pebble set. Uh, and it gives this really nice kind of like marble kind of look that you would see with a lot of these things. I don't know, I thought it was super cute. Uh, but you would have two people in there at all times. It might get a little bit cramped in there, but that's kind of how it is for those things. Um, two people at max, you probably wouldn't have that all the time. I also have this little macaw area. So the Zoo Tampa entrance has macaws right at the entrance and they have a little sign over there that says Zoo Tampa. Once I actually do get the Zoo Sarasota sign from Nick, I'll be integrating that throughout the entire zoo. Uh, but that's kind of what we have over there and we would have free flight shows going on throughout here. Uh, I'm working on that. 
Uh, I'm just trying to come up with some concepts for kind of stuff like that. No guests in the zoo, by the way. I do want to apologize. Uh, I really, really am not happy right now with, um, with how it would look. They would just be going right to the aviary, then leaving, because those are our only real animals in here right now. And I do want to address that relatively soon. Uh, but you can see that we do have the centerpiece over here. Again, very much a homage to Zoo Tampa. This is the manatee statue. And if you're wondering, yes, we will be having manatees in this park. Super excited for that. Uh, but you can see that we also have all these lovely little planters hanging around. You might have seen them at the entrance over there. Uh, these are made by the lovely Ricey. Always incredible to have those wonderful pieces in there. And these benches are made and edited by my good buddy Forge as well. Uh, and they really help serve as a wonderful color palette in here. Uh, a big thing I want to include in here is color. I want always there to be splashes of color just everywhere you look and i want that to really shine throughout here uh so you can see leading on from over here we have this little seating area we also have backstage access right over here um got that gate off the workshop i do gotta go through and actually develop like the um blueprint kind of way of memorializing all the blueprint workers in here uh just because they would not they it's the zoo is not possible without the use of blueprints as is all of my zoos but you could come over here and kind of have this little picnic area. Uh, I really do like all the tiny little details I included in here. Just like the misplaced concrete tiles with like the dirt coming out of them and like the really bad patching job on those. I don't know. I just thought it was a super cute little detail to include over there. That just works super awesomely. I don't know. I just feel like that's a really nice place to chill out. But... Once you actually do get over here, you can see that the details in this building are some of my favorites so far. I'm finally learning how to use the decals in this game, and oh my god, they work wonderfully. Check this out. Okay, so this is going to be the Flights of the Past. Uh, this is going to be our Asian bird aviary with a whole bunch of Asian animals in here. We'll get to that once we actually do get to that. Uh, but I do want this to have very much like an Indonesian kind of um, vibe to it. We will be having a separate Asian area, but I still wanted to include this just because it's so iconic once you're actually in Zoo Miami, just seeing like this beautiful, beautiful aviary building. Uh, but you can see we have a lot of cracks in the wall with all those decals. And this is my favorite thing over here. Again, I got this off of the workshop. It's just an ankylosaurus skeleton. Uh, but you can see he's actually in a pose that would make it look like he's bashing a hole into the actual aviary building. And that's kind of like the small details I want to include throughout here. Just something that makes it feel alive. Uh, but I thought that was super cute. So we would have like information about how they use their club tail and whatnot. And I just really like that. Um, and we also have the supports for the aviary going right over here. Now, keep in mind, I did not put down the actual mesh just yet. I'm still working on kind of um, finalizing the shape of the aviary before I actually get down and start to finalize like the mesh parts. Uh, but I did want to set up the support beams, so I'm really super happy with this technique. So I just used the circle decals from the Africa pack. And I kind of just sunk them right in there to make them look like big screws. Uh, and it just looks super awesome like that. I don't know, just, I just really, really do enjoy those tiny details. This is one of my favorite shots, at least over here. So you can see like a lovely little straightforward view with like how the light plays off of everything and stuff like that. Just really like it. Any time of day, really, it just looks super beautiful because you got some lovely shots over here at night with like you know the sunset happening over there even midday ish you got this beautiful bright color but it really helps to have like all the other colors really stick out and again just a really nice highlight if it's nice and early in the morning now making your way into this actual uh building uh, you enter a room first, and this is exactly how Miami does it, and this is kind of exactly how Miami structures their aviary. They have fish in it. Uh, so I do want to give a huge shout out to Gaboy and Monsoon, as well as uh, Buff Zoo for the Perun Shark and the Mekong Giant Catfish mods. 
Uh, just really, really awesome fish. Big monster Asian fish that are always so captivating to see, especially in real life. Uh, and it just really gives you such a really awesome perspective as you look up this hill. Uh, normally there's supposed to be a stork over there, but I don't know where he went. Uh, but regardless, we have a little bit of information over here regarding what is a dinosaur and what is not. So, classic thing over here, showing off like the crocodile, iguana, and snake, saying, nope, those are not technically dinosaurs. But over here with the birds, yeah, these are technically dinosaurs. Uh, and we can talk about as to why that reasoning is a thing. Uh, huge shout out to Wyatt Andrews once again for this lovely little font over here. I forget what it's called, but I would recommend you guys subscribe to everything on his workshop. He's an incredible builder. Uh, and of course, we have a little education area right over here for where keepers would kind of stand, do some presentations and whatnot, just kind of educate the guests about what's happening in here. But yeah, that's really it. Big custom roof over here. Uh, it was a very big pain to do. It took me kind of like an entire session. Uh, but it was super worth it in the end because it just looks super awesome. Especially with all these different angles playing on in there. It just looks really cool. Um, I should also mention that we are using modded props in here. So you might mention, well, you might see some items that you don't normally have in your game. Uh, specifically some foliage over there. I am using those Birds of Paradise because they are gorgeous now. Uh, but I'm using a whole bunch of stuff from Outback, Safari Pack, Exhibit Prop Pack, yada, yada, and also yada. Um, so I have a lot of that jazz happening over there. Uh, this walkway is not finalized. I will be editing this and kind of like perfecting it as time goes on. But I do want to show you guys off the... Um, kind of top view over here because this is my favorite view in the entire aviary there's a stork there he is big shout out to ginger toast for the white stork mod he will be updating it relatively soon he showed his progress in the actual um modding server so go check that out if you haven't yet i just want him in the place where he's supposed to be right over there uh so you can see right down here we have this beautiful vista that kind of looks over the entire park so far. You can see the entrance buildings right over there. You could see um, just looking down into the water with the giant monster fish. And ideally, there would be birds flying all over this aviary. But unfortunately, we do not have free flying birds just yet. Uh, but eventually, I'm sure we will be getting them soon from Frontier. If not... I'm sure the modders will find a way to make it work. Uh, but yeah, that, I believe, should be it. Um, forgive me, I'm a little tired right now. It's been a little busy for me as of late. But um, yeah, just super happy with all the details in here. There's just so much in here that I didn't really show off. Just like all these small little planted areas. Um, I have like this little section up here, which has grown to be one of my favorites. Just like a really awesome overlook that you could see the guests kind of coming in the zoo and whatnot. Uh, I will be doing custom billboards throughout here. I just need the time to actually work on them. <laughs> uh, but that is going to be in the plans for, for later. Uh, but for the time being, I just really wanted to welcome you guys to Zoo Sarasota at the Palms. Uh, just a really stellar project that I can't wait to get into with all of you guys. Hope you guys are excited for this project as much as I am. It's certainly shaping up to be one of my favorite ones just yet. I'm trying to find a very good way to end this kind of video. I think we'll end it right here. We got a nice little view right into like that little plaza area. All right. Let me pop up here and let me pop up here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you guys did enjoy this start too, this very fun new series, please be sure to drop all your support that you can in the comments or by dropping a like down below. It really does go such a long way with, um, you know, the algorithm and stuff like that because we're always trying to appease that happy little algorithm. But on that note, thank you guys so much for watching. Can't wait to see you guys in the next episode. Take care and have the most wonderful of wonderful days. Goodbye now.